What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new Battle Pass system in Modern Warfare 2. Of course, the Battle Pass and Warzone 2 will be launching later today. I will link all this information down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. But in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 Season 1, players will progress through the Battle Pass with more choices than ever. Uh, Activision said they scrapped the linear idea of a linear pass than they've had in you know previous games and went to a multi-sector map now players will be looking at a map and using uh, that to earn battle pass tokens or tier skips to unlock items across the map which will be themed for whichever season the game is in battle token tier skips are earned simply by playing the game like tiers in the old system so when you used to gain tiers in the old battle pass you'll be gaining battle token tier skips Battle token tier skips that you do not use are automatically spent at the end of the season if you do not decide to use them for whatever reason. Each sector contains a main unlock which is known as a high value target or HVT. As you can see from kind of the images you know that here on screen the HVT in sector a certain sector uh, could be a weapon it could be a you know blueprint could be a skin and there are four items beneath it that must be unlocked before proceeding to the HVT. So you have to unlock those smaller items to be able to get that high value target item. It's important to note that you must unlock the entire sector before moving on to a new sector. The battle pass will have at least 20 sectors with five items in each sector, adding up to 100 total items. This new system allows players to pick and choose which items they would like to focus on, but there is a catch. Once the sector is fully unlocked and you have earned that high value target item, you are free to advance to any adjacent sector. You can move across the map at will, seeing uh, kind of seeing as you kind of stick to that neighboring sector. Uh, the example they kind of gave was, you know, what you would do would be uh, if you were on A1, um, and then you can move to either A2 or A3. I think a lot of people heard that, you know, you could kind of unlock what you want, uh, kind of how you want. And that's not necessarily exactly true. Yes, you can still kind of navigate through the pass like you would like, but at the same time, once you complete a sector and get that high value target item, you're only going to be able to move to an adjacent sector. So you're not going to be able to move completely across the map or completely, you know, to the other side or anything like that. Also, uh, 100 battle token tier skips are required to complete the battle pass, and there will be a special reward for those who do each season. Players will have control over how they wish to spend their Battle Pass token tier skips, uh, depending really whether they like to embark on the quickest path towards a new Operator skin or one of the new weapons. So you're really going to have to decide which sector is you know, the one you want to start with, pick it, and start unlocking those items with those tokens as you earn them in-game, and then go to the adjacent uh, you know, kind of area after you have completed that entire sector. So this is definitely a new way or a new spin on the traditional battle pass that we have seen in call of duty for several years now will it be something that the community likes we'll have to kind of have to wait and see after today once it's released and people start working on it um i think they're trying to just kind of change it up considering most games nowadays have a battle pass system in most games battle pass system are all kind of laid out the same kind of look the same and so i think infinity ward and activision try to put a twist on this by allowing you to kind of somewhat do what you want throughout the battle pass itself and of course there will be free items in this battle pass along with you know items that you pay for if you buy the premium pass that's not going to change that's going to be the same as it has always been so keep that in mind as well but anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about this new battle pass system is it something that you kind of like the idea of uh, do you wish that you know they were stuck with just the more traditional pass that we've seen in previous years and just let me know your thoughts in general about this new system going forward and if you're looking forward to Season 1 and Warzone 2 starting today. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.